A bit of disappointment there for uh, Simon Evans and also his co-driver Ben Sears. They had an electrical problem coming into this stage. This is the longest stage of the day, battling for seconds with his brother. They've just got a 30 second penalty before being six minutes late. About to enter into this stage, then it's back to service for our lunchtime report. We'll catch up with everybody, including Simon, Eli and all the lead teams and see how their day's been. We had an ignition wire break on the back of the alternator which killed the battery. So it was just another challenge and uh, yeah, we got through the stage cleanly. Um, it happened on the transport so uh, yeah, it just we lost a bit of time, got a penalty. And then we ran out to the next stage and I was driving pretty hard and of course all the boys had pulled out some big rocks and I happened to just gnar one. Yeah. Got a flat tyre and that uh, you know, just made it even more difficult. <laughs> <laughs> So what does that mean now? You're probably realistically going to be aiming for like a third. Do you now just consolidate that and take a bit of risk factor out? Yeah, that's what smart people would do. <laughs> and, you know, like I've thought about that. And my, my head's telling me to do it, but my heart's telling me to go flat out and just do everything possible. He's not going to make three more stages without breaking something. I think the Cranwell opinion's got a tooth missing or something and it's going to make a hell of a mess. So if, we, if we've got a 30 minute service, and apparently you can do a gearbox change in just under an hour. So if we use our 30 minutes at late time, we will get a two and a half minute penalty and we'll still be out there and we'll get some finish points. If we don't and we blow it up on the side of the road, we come here for nothing. It was getting close out there. I driven as fast as I can. I think I had a four second advantage. Pulling back from the five deficit we had when we started this morning. So it feels nice. I can breathe a little bit easier now, but um, in saying that, you jag a rock, you get a flat tyre, it's all over, so. JD, sometimes you wonder in this sport why the hell you get out of bed, don't you? Yeah, it's one of those days, I think, actually one of those weekends. Weekend, yeah, it hasn't gone to plan, unfortunately, but um, it's just it's what it is. What's happened today? Talk us through your day. Right, so we got a flat tyre on the first stage, dropped about three minutes, and then the front diff stopped working. So we've been in rear wheel drive all day and learning a new driving style, which has been a lot of fun. The plan was to come here, get used to the car, have lots and lots of fun, big smiles on the face, and see what happens in the end. And uh, that, that was working really well for us. So heading into the last three stages, uh, holding a bit of a couple of minute lead, and yeah, we're just going to play it out and um, keep pushing as hard as we can, but within reason, and don't have any moments, and yeah, keep pushing to the end. Hot work out there. It's probably 30 degrees, which means about 60 in there. And I think you were telling me before, this is the most physical car you've probably driven. Yeah, it's um, a really aggressive car, you know, a lot of revs and the, um, the gear change with the uh, flat uh, gear cut is, is quite aggressive and you have to use quite a bit of force to get it to work properly, but um, I'm really enjoying it. It's sort of, you know, you're really sort of grabbing it by the scruff of the neck and just wrestling the car through the stage, which, yeah, is, in this temperature is um, hard work, but uh, I've been training for it, so it's going all right. So. <laughs>